G'day guys, I'm Marcus Stoinis, cricketer with Australia and proud West Australian. Uh, today you'll come with me and we'll go for a drive and see some places around Perth that are important to me. Growing up in Perth, nice weather, access to the beach all the time, um, playing your sport, it was cricket for me in, in summer, footy in winter and yeah, all my close mates, most of my close mates are still from school so we had a, um, a good group which I think is pretty rare for you to still be mates at 29 I am now, to still be mates with your, with your school friends. So I, I had a good childhood, no, no troubles there. Okay, so we are driving to the school that I went to from year one to year 12. Yeah, so we're back at Hale School, my old stomping ground. Um, a bit nostalgic coming back here and it all looks a bit different, actually. I remember these nets, I thought there was 40 nets down here, but yeah, um, used to come down here during lunch break with, with the coach, the um, WA sporting legend, Mr. Derek Chadwick. Um, yeah, so he, he took me under the wing when I was in year 10, 11 and 12 and we'd come down here and, and have our, have our uh, coaching sessions. Up there we got the music hall where my mate Nat Lusev used to um, be in the choir and he was a beautiful singer and the voice of an angel so I just wanted to make sure I could get his name in there. Um, and down to these nets where I used to nip one through the gate to, to Josh Lauren who had a terrible, terrible season here in his last year of cricket. Um, averaged about five but he's gone on to bigger and better things. Um, don't know what they are but he's, he's doing well. Um, it's not cricket, it's not cricket. But yeah, no, good memories here. Very good memories here. Down the ground for six. Magnificent from Marcus Stoinis. Boy, has he added a lot of quality to this performance from Australia. Something I'll remember forever is, is New Zealand and playing in Auckland. More so than, than what I actually did for me, it was just so rewarding because I'd, I'd played for Australia before, but hadn't played for probably a year. Probably the best memory I have is straight after the game. I remember Buff having my phone ready, gave it to me straight away, and he said, go, go call home. And the phone would have rang once, and it was picked up straight away, and not many words spoken, just sort of tears of joy, and your, your emotional Greek and European side comes out, and that type of thing. Um, I don't actually remember as much of the game as I do yeah, probably after it. I'd also heard leading into that game how hostile the New Zealand crowds can be. And Wolf was actually telling a story where he um, he was walking around the edge of the edge of the pitch and he got have you heard this? He got hit by a uh, by a salmon or a fish. And it was like a raw, full fish. And uh, so yeah, there's a lot that goes on. So I'm thinking, I'm going into the game, I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna be fielding on the boundary, I might cop a the Spanish mackerel, New Zealand mackerel to the to the back of the head or something like that. But then the walking off at the end of the game to have a whole full house of New Zealand supporters standing up and and yeah, cheering for your performance. Yeah, I got a lot of respect from the New Zealand crowd. Uh, yeah, so now we're off to Scarborough Career Club. So we're at the um, Peter Worm Pavilion. Started here when I was nine years old and then I ended up staying here the whole time, all the way through to first grade cricket and um, played in three or four premierships um, on the trot with, with some good mates, some people that are still good mates now. Yeah, Justin Langer was a, he was the poster boy of Scarborough Cricket Club and of Western Australian cricket probably. So it's probably good timing for me to have someone like Alfie in charge. We've been close for a long time. We played club cricket when I was young. Well, yeah, mentored me through my whole career. We lost someone at very similar times. JL lost his mum and I lost dad. And they both fought for a long time and, and almost longer than, than they were meant to. So, um, yeah, we've had some, some, of the, some of the best conversations I've ever had, are probably with Alfie. Um, out of anyone, any, any of my mates and, and all that sort of stuff, because we were going through such uh, similar issues at, at similar times and yeah, just a very intense time in, in both our lives. Yeah, finishing the day with a uh, 5 p.m. coffee, not usually drinking my coffee that late, but yeah, just stopped down to Yellow around the corner from my place and um, 
thanks for, thanks for joining me for a little drive around Perth. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you at the cricket.